Hi, the holidays are coming, and you know it's time to have some fun with LEDs again. Last week, I did a workshop at my college where I taught my students to use this Wi-Fi-enabled color LED matrix combined with JavaScript programs to display animations or even simple games. I thought it would be cool to make a video about it. So this is the color LED matrix with 5 by 7 uh, neo pixels and it can actually be daisy chained to make a larger display and here is one example of six panels chained together. I designed it two years ago and back then I was using a uh, Arduino based Squareware Mini to control the display patterns. This time I have improved it by using an ESP8266 Wi-Fi chip and by doing so I'm able to send data to it uh, through Wi-Fi. And the cool thing is that this way I can use JavaScript or Python to send animation frames to it in real time, which is a lot faster to change and upload than using Arduino Sketch. Let me show you how it works. This is a very stripped down version of the ESP toy that I designed and it has only the minimum set of components to get the ESP chip up and running. Now digital pin 14 here is used as a data pin for the NeoPixels. I'm now going to power it up using a uh, USB mobile charger. So in the beginning it shows a couple of simple color wipe and wheel patterns and I can use the button on the back to switch to the next pattern. And uh, now it's scrolling a line of text. At this point it creates a Wi-Fi network and starts a web server. I can use my phone or computer to connect to this Wi-Fi network, open a browser and type in 192.168.4.1 and then the web server will respond back with this pixel editing uh, interface. I can select a color and click on a pixel here to change its color or clear the frame buffer or fill the buffer with uh, the same color uh, or I can use one of the predefined patterns and when I'm done I can click on submit and that's going to push the pixel colors through Wi-Fi to the uh, LED matrix. I can try another one and another one. Again this is done uh, wirelessly from my phone to the LED matrix. So what's happening here is that when I click on the submit button the web app uh, sends a HTTP GET command with all the pixel data uh, to the ESP through Wi-Fi and uh, if I check the show HTTP GET command checkbox down at the bottom then every time I click on submit you can see the HTTP GET command uh, which is basically a very long string that contains the hexadecimal value of uh, every pixel color. The firmware I wrote for the ESP runs a simple web server that responds to these HTTP GET commands. Other than returning the home page, you can use uh, these commands to read the current brightness, set the brightness, set all pixel colors uh, or even scroll a line of text with a given color and speed. So with this very minimal set of HTTP API the next thing I can do is to write JavaScript programs to generate animations for example by changing the brightness uh, every few hundred milliseconds I can blink the whatever pattern was on the LED matrix to begin with. So if I run this HTML JavaScript you can see it blinks the pattern or I can also fade the pattern.
In addition, I can create predefined frames to display an animation or use JavaScripts to generate animations on the fly. Here's another one. And in this last example, I can also uh, create simple uh, games by using JavaScript to detect key presses and modify the displayed images accordingly. So in this case, it's detecting my key press and uh, you know changing the display accordingly. So by doing this, I can even create a simple uh, games using this LED matrix as the display. Here are some animation patterns that the students at the workshop created. It has like Wi-Fi capability. Oh my God! Like what is this? Oh. Yeah. It looks even more spooky in the video though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should look at it the way my camera sees it. What I wanted to make eventually was just simulate Pong, but like yeah, simulate Pong. But like go start in a random direction. If you are interested, I have shared the firmware code that I wrote for ESP8266, the JavaScripts that I have created, and also the um, PowerPoint slides that I um, you, uh, wrote for the uh, workshop. Um, hope you like it. Thanks for watching this video.